You ready to get things clean? I think they're gonna like their new yard. Yeah, we're gonna rearrange that duck pool too, huh? Those messy ducks are making it all muddy, huh? Yep, big plans today. Hi, welcome back to Bok Bok Bouquet. I hope you're all doing well. We're in December now. I hope everyone's enjoying their holidays. It's a fun time of year. And we've actually been on some trips recently and now we're gonna be home. You saw we got a puppy last week, so we're gonna be home raising the puppy for the holidays. And well, because we've been on so many trips, this is probably, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, the most like dirty and neglected our bantam chicken run has looked. So today I'm gonna make myself feel a little better. My mind's been stressed with everything being so messy. I didn't even plant a fall garden. Like we got a dead tomato plant over there. Like everything's a mess. So let's get everything cleaned. I'm gonna give the run the little revamp. We're gonna rearrange things. I think make it a little better. I like to usually rake out this yard once a week because it is in an enclosed run. So it does get a little dirtier faster than our free range flock. But we've been gone and and things just got ahead of me like the one day I had off work I woke up with horrible cramps you know lady issues and then the other day it was so windy that we just didn't want the poop dust blowing back in our face and everything was so messy and then we got a rainstorm so today it's windy again but not not as bad we got another rainstorm blowing in so this is it now or never we finally thought that we were done with the molting chickens and then monkey decided to drop a load pretty much everywhere the other day but it's easier to clean if you guys saw our vlog where we built these new ones run we got hinges so i'll be able to just get all those feathers out of there real easy morticia what do you think we're getting nice and clean and maybe when my mind is less stressed with all of these chores done maybe i'll get to planting that winter garden and grow you guys some lettuce and snacks yeah dish Annie. But first, let's distract them with a little snacky. Here's the leftover from the cauliflower that I prepared with dinner last night. And it's not much, but they'll devour it all. This will just be a little hanging hook and it'll distract them while I rake because some of them, especially Miss Peach, loves to follow me everywhere. She's not afraid of the rake and she gets in the way of me trying to rake the yard. Why aren't you afraid like the others? She's so brave. She just wants to scratch up the little pile first before anyone else does. So, here we go. That's Peach. Do you like my Christmas t-shirt? If you know, you know. So now I'm gonna be getting my mask on. Um, the, the dust in the chicken coops is really, really not good for you to breathe in. So I like to wear this when I am cleaning the yard. I used to just use a regular dust mask and recently after seeing all these posts on chicken Facebook groups of people getting histoplasmosis and stuff, I, I upgraded to this kind of mask. Me and Ricardo, by our jobs trade, he does dental and I do nails, wear a mask all day work for work anyway, so it doesn't really bother me to wear this mask and it's just for a little short period of time and I think it's well worth it to keep your lungs safe and all that nasty dust and bacteria, so I'm gonna put my mask on now. So Nora, bad chicken, go. Ricardo thinks it's crazy that I use this little rake instead of our big rake, but I have a reason. It really helps my OCD. I feel like it gets in those little nooks like when I clean the yard, I feel like I do it better than him because I get in all the little corners the big rake can't get into. And then I feel like this one doesn't take as much dirt into our dustpan. I feel like it literally just gets the poops, like it sifts it out and lets the dirt stay, whereas the big rake just takes the whole pile where I feel like this leaves our native soil on the ground. So I have my reasons and my back is fine. So. For now, Little Rake is my favorite. <laughs> I feel so exposed right now. 
I usually like to clean this yard more often, but we've been on trips, the weather's been bad, and my um, husbandry practices might be different than like others. Like you don't have to clean once a week here. Our yard, since it is not free range and it's enclosed, we do have to clean more often. And your climate may be different than mine too. Usually I feel like my yard wouldn't look so bad if I went this long without cleaning, but because we were going into winter, we have bad drainage in the desert and we're not used to getting rain at all. Like my situation's a little different. My ducks have made this a mess. So we're gonna try to remedy some of these drainage issues in a second and make some better winter space for these babies. What we do because of our high clay content in the soil here is we always add coarse grade sand to the area. We did that last year and it totally remedied our drainage problems so we're gonna add some of that in here and that should solve all of our problems again because you know a muddy chicken run is not a healthy chicken run. Mud brings like maybe disease or pests so we're gonna get rid of that today. And now I'm going to wait for Ricardo to come over here. We're going to roll up this poultry netting really nice and we're not going to plant anything back for a while if you guys have seen some of our other videos. Sometimes we plant sprouts or sunflowers back there but we're not going to do that so we'll get rid of it to give it more run space and I don't know if I told you but you see this giant dead tomato plant from the frost? Well, <laughs> we didn't plant that tomato. That's just from giving them tomatoes as snacks and one of the seeds um, volunteered to grow so that was pretty cool we got little cherry tomatoes from that all season i would eat some or give them to the chickens miss cleo you want to see what's going on and karen i'd say growing from the other side of the fence too happy chickens Happy, happy, happy. Oof, scared chickens. <laughs> the aftermath. I was gonna move the pool right there, but now I don't think I have the heart. I wanted to give them a distraction in there so I could work over here, but who could pass up this distraction? They're having so much fun and I, I, I don't wanna take that from them today. So maybe I'll move our little bench that was so dirty we never sat on it. I need to clean it and maybe I'll put the pool there, clean the bench, and then move it somewhere over here for us to sit. They're having so much fun. I'm so happy to see them happy. <laughs> Ta-da! So I hope that you like the big reveal as much as I do. I'm really happy with it and I'm really excited to have all this work done and being clean and nice and all their toys out and it's just, it's just it's the little things in life. It just has me so excited. I've already decorated for Christmas all inside my house and hopefully now I can bring out some Christmas decorations here in the chicken coop in yard. As always, everything you saw in today's video, I'll link it down below in the um, description box. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're having a great December so far. I hope you're gonna have happy holidays and I'll see you next week. Thanks, bye.